Hi, I'm Lisa from Australian Travel and Migration blog DreamingofDanunder.com and today I'm going to compare Adelaide and Canberra for anyone who's moving to Australia and trying to decide where to live. I haven't lived in these cities myself but I have travelled almost the whole coastline of Australia and I've visited Canberra too and been to all of the state capitals. I've already made videos comparing Sydney to Brisbane and Perth so I'll link to those below. I've also got a whole section on my blog on where to live in Australia including city overviews and a free city comparison chart so I'll link to those below. Okay so here are some of the differences between Adelaide and Canberra. Difference number one is the location. Both cities are in the southeast corner of Australia but they are about 1200 kilometers apart which takes about 12 and a half hours to drive. Adelaide is a coastal city along the south coast of Australia and Canberra is between Sydney and Melbourne but a couple of hours inland. Canberra is almost directly east of Adelaide. Difference number two is the size and population. Adelaide is the fifth most populated city in Australia after Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth and it's got around 1.3 million inhabitants. Canberra is the sixth most populated of the state capitals and it's got around 368,000 people living there. So even though it's the capital city of Australia, it's definitely not the biggest city, it's quite small. The city centre in Canberra, or the CBD, is really small compared to most of the other major cities and it's really quite easy to get around, so it's nothing like being in Sydney or Melbourne which are quite sprawling. My third difference is what the cities look like. Adelaide looks quite a lot like most of the other big cities in Australia in terms of the CBD and the shopping area. It's got really big buildings, lots of malls, it's quite colourful, whereas Canberra is much, much smaller and the buildings are quite different too. What I really liked about Adelaide was, even though it feels like you're in a city and you've got all the conveniences, you can see the Adelaide hills in the distance between some of the big skyscrapers. So even though you're in a city, it doesn't feel like you're in a concrete jungle, you know that you are not too far from some more rural areas. Adelaide also has some nice parks and a lovely riverside area and botanic gardens. I really liked North Adelaide, which is just across the river from the city. That was quite leafy and lots of nice sort of bars and cafes and it seemed a little bit more hipster than the city. Canberra is quite an unusual city. It's very different from the other major cities in Australia. It was actually custom built to be the capital of Australia because they couldn't decide between Sydney and Melbourne. So it's very different from your sort of typical capital city that's huge. When Canberra was built, there was a competition to design it and it's got quite an unusual layout. It's got like a really big long road cutting through it and then around that road at points it's got kind of circular roads spanning outwards in geometric shapes. It's, um, you'll have to look on the map to see what that looks like, it's really hard to explain. The CBD or city centre in Canberra I thought looked quite grey and not quite as interesting looking as the other cities. It's got quite a lot of really uniform blocky buildings, it's quite different but it does have nice parklands and a nice lake and a nice bushland surrounding it that's really quick to get to. I've got a friend who lives in Sydney but lived in Canberra for a few years and she said the, the best thing for her was how easy it is to get around, how quick and if you're meeting people it doesn't take absolutely ages for you to get across the city and meet up with people somewhere central. Also she said it was really quick and easy to get to bushland if you want to go for bush hikes. Difference number four is beach scenery compared to mountain scenery. Adelaide lies on the coastline and it is a beach city so one of the perks of living in Adelaide is the lovely beaches whereas Canberra is inland a couple of hours but it is only about two hours to drive to the coastline. You can drive to south coast New South Wales quite quickly and also it's close to mountains so you can get to ski resorts from there within two hours too. Surrounding the city in Canberra it is quite hilly and green so it does look quite nice. My friend that lived there said one of the perks of Canberra really is that you can go to both mountains for skiing and to the beaches so easily. Even though Adelaide's got lovely beaches, it also has the Adelaide Hills so it's not very far to get to bushland and hills and hikes and things if you want to do that. Difference number five is the weather. Adelaide and Canberra do have quite different climates, particularly as Canberra is inland, so it has less extreme temperatures between day and night and the seasons. And Canberra is quite elevated too. It's, I think, 580 metres above sea level, so it gets much colder winters than Adelaide does. Adelaide has hot, dry summers, and in January and February, which is the peak of summer, it's around 30 degrees maximum in the daytime and only gets about two or three days of rain a month on average at that time of year. At nighttime in the summer, it drops to around 17 degrees in Adelaide. In the winter in Adelaide, it's around 16 degrees maximum in the daytime and it drops to around 8 degrees at night. It also has around 12 days of rain a month in the winter. 
Adelaide has a similar climate to Perth, but Perth is a couple of degrees hotter through the year and it has a little bit more rainfall in the winter. Adelaide does reach some really extremely hot temperatures in the summer though, it varies quite a lot, so it can get up to 40 degrees. I spent about two weeks there for Christmas in the summer a few years ago and we had quite a few days that were above 40. So apparently um, hot winds can come down from central Australia which can make it suddenly really hot if the wind's blowing south and then if the wind's blowing north you've got the southern ocean and Antarctica below you so it can go very cold and then very hot. In Canberra, the summer temperatures get up to around 26 or 28 degrees in the summertime in the day, and then at night it drops to around 13, so a little bit colder than Adelaide at night. In the summertime, Canberra has a few more rainy days than Adelaide does, about four or five per month, so it's still fairly dry. In the winter, Canberra is only around 12 degrees maximum in the daytime and at night it does drop around to about zero. So I remember when I first moved to Australia and I was in Perth and whenever the weather forecast came on because it was winter, I'd always see like below zero temperatures in Canberra so I was always really surprised. Canberra stays fairly dry in the winter as well with around six days of rain a month so it is a pretty dry city overall. I would say that Adelaide and Canberra look visibly drier compared to some of the wetter cities like Sydney and Brisbane up the east coast which are quite green and lush. It's still got really nice scenery, it just, it just looks a bit different. But you still get really nice tree-lined streets and leafy suburbs and everything and they still have nice parks. Also in Canberra it's quite different to the warmer cities because in the winter a lot of the leaves were off the trees which I'm not used to seeing now living in Sydney. So it looked a little bit more like the UK where I'm sure it's a lot greener in the summertime and then winter you don't have as many evergreen trees. Difference number six is the property prices. Canberra is significantly more expensive to buy property in than Adelaide. Adelaide's one of the cheapest capitals in Australia to buy property in. In February 2022, the median house value in Adelaide was $648,000, whereas in Canberra it was a million dollars. The median value of a unit or flat in Adelaide at that time was $399,000, whereas in Canberra it was $602,000. If you want to keep an eye on the property prices in Australia or compare cities, the best way to get information I've found is on the CoreLogic Australia YouTube channel. They're the big property data supplier in Australia, so most of the media reports that you see will be using data from them. So they do a monthly update uh, for each city. Difference number seven is the things to do in the cities. I've got guides on both cities on the top things to do, so I'll link to those below. But here's a quick overview. So Adelaide is a fairly big city, so it's got all the standard attractions in terms of restaurants and bars, cafes and nightlife and shops and that sort of thing. Also, obviously, Adelaide has lots of beaches to visit. I think the most well-known beach in Adelaide is probably Glenelg. That's a nice beach and it's also got like lots of shops and restaurants. So that's quite a nice busy beach if you want lots to do. Some of the quieter beaches that I visited were Henley and Semaphore, they were really nice. Elder Park in Adelaide is really nice as well, that's right by the city and it's on the riverside and you can hire paddle boats or just chill out on the grass. I spent New Year there once and it was actually really nice, it was a lot less hectic than Sydney with all the, the big fireworks that they have there, it was quite chilled. Also make sure you go up Mount Lofty in Adelaide, it's got really really lovely views across the city right out to the sea. You should definitely head out to the Adelaide Hills. I went to Le Bethel at Christmas time, that's got a really huge light display so all the locals put on Christmas lights in their gardens and homes and they had a nativity play on as well that was outdoors, that was really nice. Also Handorf, a German village, is really really nice actually, it's got really old buildings, it's really quaint so I'd go there for a visit. So for Canberra, one of the nicest things I did was go to the Botanic Gardens, that's really nice and also you can access a bushwalk there up Black Mountain to Telstra Tower and if you go up the tower it's got really amazing views all across uh, Canberra. You've also got Lake Burley Griffin in Canberra, that's really nice to go and walk around or cycle around and you can go on a long walk to get to the government buildings there. So you can go and have a look at the government buildings if you like and also Canberra's got really really great museums and art galleries, so it's got a lot of cultural attractions. It's quite nice to visit just for a weekend away or something. Also there's a couple of universities in Canberra so I'm sure there's lots of student nightlife and things to do for students. Difference number eight is the nearby holiday destinations. From Adelaide you can get to Coorong National Park really easily, that's got lots of salt lakes along the coastline, you can go camping there or go hiking. A bit further away is Mount Gambier. Mount Gambier is a really unique city, it's a volcanic city and it's got like sunken gardens and a really really bright blue lake, it's lovely. 
some places that I'd love to go to in the future are Kangaroo Island, that's off Adelaide and that looks like it's got really amazing coastal scenery. Also the Florio Peninsula looks amazing too. If you want to go on a longer road trip, head to the Eyre Peninsula and go and check out the beaches and scenery in Coffin Bay National Park and Port Lincoln National Park. If you head east on a longer road trip towards Melbourne, you can go and see the Great Ocean Road. So from Canberra, two hours southeast takes you to Batemans Bay, which is in south coast New South Wales. That's got really amazing national parks and hikes and beaches. And from there, you can just explore up and down the coast. If you head a couple of hours south from Canberra, you get to Jindabyne, which is a really popular skiing resort. So in the winter, you can go and see snow and go skiing. If you go two hours north of Canberra, you've got the Southern Highlands. That's inland and it's got really nice old quaint sort of villages and towns. That's really nice to visit. Lots of cafes and antique shops shops and stuff. Also Sydney's only about a three and a half hour drive away from Canberra so you could easily go and visit Sydney for a weekend or explore the coastline around there, go to Wollongong or the central coast. The train is fairly cheap as well, I went to Canberra for a weekend from Sydney on the train. I'm sure it was only about $20 each way. So even though Canberra's inland you can still access lots of nice coastal places fairly easily for a day or weekend. Okay that's it for my differences between Adelaide and Canberra. I'm sure there's lots more differences than that, but I have only visited them for a few days or weeks at a time. Feel free to add any more in the comments if you live in one of those cities and you've got more information for everyone. I really like visiting both cities. I think for Canberra, it's not somewhere that expats really think to go to. and People might tend to move there for their job. It's got a lot of government workers, obviously. I think Adelaide gets a bit of a bad rap from people in other cities and people say it's boring, but I think it's really been modernized over the years. I first went there about 20 years ago and I definitely think it's a lot nicer now. I like both cities more than I thought I would really. Canberra had quite a lot to do. Maybe if you had to move to Canberra for your job or something, you're not sure whether you're going to like it. It's probably got more than you might think, especially being so close to other places to visit at weekends. Check out my other city comparison videos if you haven't already and let me know in the comments if you're going to be moving to one of those cities or if you already live there and whether you'd recommend it or not. And please like and subscribe for more videos on life in Australia. Thanks for watching.